Everybody, today we have Lenovo ThinkPad E14 Gen 2. It's an Intel Core i5 11th Gen laptop. We'll take it apart, we'll see what we can replace, fix or upgrade. Let's start. Let's start with the bottom screws. Now we have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. So find a gap in between the, the both parts and separate them. So now the bottom case is out. Here we have the part number. Now we have access to all the components. Let's start with disconnecting the battery. Might be easier if we take out the screws first. Now we can take out the battery and slide out the connector. Here we have the part number. So we can replace the battery in case if it doesn't hold the charge. Let's see, now we can see the storage. So if you take out one screw, you can replace the storage as well. If it, your laptop doesn't boot or you would like to upgrade the storage, that's how you do it. That's the NVMe drive. Here we have the memory cover. Unscrew one screw. Now we can lift the cover. Spread the arms and now we can take out the memory. You can replace it if it doesn't work or upgrade to the bigger one. Here we have the Wi-Fi card. So disconnect antenna wires, unscrew one screw here on the top. And this is how we can replace the battery, the Wi-Fi card. Here we have the model part number. Now let's disconnect the I.O. board. Now we can unplug the uh, cooling fan. Okay, now let's take out all the screws for the fan and the heat sink. So if you're cooling, doesn't work, the laptop overheats or the fan is making grinding, grinding noise or doesn't spin. This is how we can replace it. So unscrew the screws for the fan, unscrew the screws for, for the heat sink. Now gently lift the heat sink and fan. Here we have part number. Okay, now let's disconnect all the connectors from the motherboard. So let's disconnect the touchpad. 
speaker. Yeah, our speaker connector was stuck. We just have to pull it out. Now we are taking out our speakers. So if your sound is bad, that's how you can replace them. Here we have part numbers. Now we can take out our motherboard. So let's keep the CMOS battery with the board. Okay, now let's take out all the screws for the motherboard and for the hinge, because the hinge covers the motherboard as well. I'm gonna take out the screws for the other hinge as well, because we will be putting the I.O. board. Now we can also disconnect the video cable for the screen. Now let's unfold the hinge. And this is how we can take out the motherboard. Now we have two more connectors on the back for the keyboard and touchpad. So disconnect these. Close the connector. And that's our motherboard. Now we can take out the I.O. board. Here we have our network port and the USB port, so if these don't work, you can replace this board. That's our Palmerest touchpad assembly. Let's take out the touchpad, we can do that. Take out these four screws. That's how we take out the touchpad. So we can replace it if it doesn't work. The keyboard, unfortunately, it's so uh, riveted to the palm rest. So if the keyboard doesn't work, you have to replace the whole part. And now we have our screen left. So to take out the LCD, here we have the model, num model number, part number for the screen assembly for the video cable. But we will be pulling out the LCD. So first, try off the front bezel. So take out the front bezel. It has adhesive, so be gentle and disconnect all the clips Okay, so the front bezel is out. Here we have the part number. Now we have access to our screen. So now let's take out our hinges. So 
So the heat is all out. So to pull out the screen, we have to catch these pull out tabs. And gently pull out the adhesive from underneath the screen. Oops. Here, that's the video cable, so let's disconnect it. Flip that clip. Now we can pull out the cable. So that's our screen. Here we have the model number. And the part number. Now we can take out our video cable. That's our webcam. Okay, so that's our video cable. Here we can take out the antenna. That's our antenna. And that's our back cover. Here we have the model part number. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.